Let's start this. Good morning. I don't know why I want to sing, but I do want to sing now. I'm like, yeah, geez, see, she got the rhythm. I'm here. Okay, cool. So let's literally jump into this. So I want to say first things first next week, just a reminder that our call is going to shift a tiny bit on the time. It'll just be 30 minutes earlier because we have Jeff Hill speaking, but I will literally put a postcard or reminder for y'all, but we're going to go together with my Five and other eight star diamond group and combine us and Jeff Hill will be speaking. So make sure that you show up on time, be ready to, I know he's going to bring content, but please be ready to ask questions um, or anything that goes as far as that. Okay. So that's next week's call, but I want to ask you a question and I want to kind of just ask since our last call, what have you done to be proactive with that? Remember what our last call was on? Right now, my brain just went, and I just had a call. This is hilarious. Woo! This is what happens when I have caffeine. I'm a little nitty gritty because I, I never have caffeine. But go, Brett. Yeah, Rhonda. So I implemented everything like two seconds after the call. Okay. And it is amazing. Um, your girl that you had speak that was the ten star diamond, or how she did it. Oh, so Jalen. I literally went and implemented all of it and my coaches are freaking out and they love it. So I put like all of my coaches, you know, like I'll do like leaders in a group message thread, but I put like all my new coaches in a group message thread and all their new coaches in a group message thread. And it's so amazing. Plus, plus a uh, coach basics. So they have a coach basics they're in where they get all the tools and then they've got the group message fed where they can just ask all the questions. And then I give them the documents, they copy and paste them and keep them. So just any questions go, everything goes. And it's just been really cool. The comments coming back, people are like, Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. They love it. Okay. I love that way to jump into action, but can I start your face and not your abs? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm like, literally I have no bra on. And okay. Put that on. Put that on. <laughs> like, it, like I could like totally show you. But it Don't we're recording. <laughs> okay. So the topic was getting your coaches to diamond faster, right? That was the content. So who else have implemented quite a bit since the last call? Yeah. T go. Oh, you're muted. Please hold. Nope. Gotcha. Go. I implemented Z's coach checklist. So, um, I went on Canva and like, you know, made it TFI'd and, um, got that all set up and set up, uh, self-paced training, um, and started doing that with some of my new coaches or coaches that hadn't really ever gotten started or did my, I had a self-paced training in, um, a Facebook group. So I would share that, but nobody actually did that. Um, so I sent it to the whole team. Um, I shared with them how, cause I know some of my leaders have their own stuff, you know, their own team name and everything. And I, so I made a video sharing how they can update that in Canva for themselves to put their own team of to it. And, um, so I started implementing that and then using, I had already been doing the, um, group chats. Like I had a runner group chat, a walker group chat and a jogger. Um, and just kept it to like four or five people. My runner one is going, you know, does what it does. So I'm just going to keep that going. And then as I goal is to be signing up more coaches, we'll create a, like a, a group, um, chat for like newer coaches just for there, but I'm going to use the group as the accountability part. So they go offline, you know, to do the training. It's a 14 day training that I had gotten from one of my coaches, which I don't know where she got it from, but it was really awesome. Very simple. I overcomplicate things. And so this was very simple and I shared it with some other of my coaches. Um, and they're like, Oh my God, I wish I had this when I started. I'm like, Oh yeah, I kind of suck. Sorry, dude. Um, anyway, so they were really excited about that. And, um, so they're going to use the group, you know, to tag their coaches so that it's like a whole wide, you know, like team wide way they do it. But then my personally sponsored coaches, I will have a special group just for them. So that's what my, my plan is. I just need to sign new coaches. So once I get the new coaches, then we're good. <laughs> then, you're, then you're golden. But I had a, so I had a conversation with T yesterday and I love this, but, and I find this a lot with my coaches. If you don't have a system, kind of how you're going to bring them in, what you're going to do once you get them, you don't really do, right? We don't really recruit that much. We kind of, it's, it, and I'm not saying this at T at all, because I see this across the board, but it's the lack of confidence that we have within ourselves that it's like, if I bring them on, what am I going to do with them? 
right? Mm-hmm. Like that's like the number one roadblock that I see with coaches. So I love the fact that you implemented that. I mean, even just talking to you yesterday, the new passion, the excitement behind it. I feel I mean, it. Yeah. For sure. And then it will allow you to then go in out and get who you are wanting to fill those groups, obviously. Yeah, so, I yeah. even went through my challenge group that I have right now because like I, I shared with Brittany, it's like I've been rocking my challenge group. My ladies in there are like it, sometimes I, I kind of get like chills because they are so it's such a strong community in there, but I haven't asked any of them to, hey, you want to do what I'm doing because I didn't feel like I had anything. They were doing so good. I didn't want to put something on them to make them feel like they were failing because that's what I felt like I was doing. Um, and so last night I was like, hey, you ready? You ready? So we'll, we'll see what happens. So we have a two week goal, right, Britt? Yes, we do. I love it. Love me some two week goals. Kay. We have time for one more. What have you implemented since our last call when it comes to helping coaches get to diamond faster or your system in the whole effect of it? Anybody else want to speak? Okay, cool. Let's move on to our topic. Does that sound good? (laughs) Okay, note to self, do the actions. Do it. Like after these calls, please put something into action just so you feel like you're moving forward. So it's not one more thing that you're loading up in your brain, but you're literally just creating it within your team. Okay. all right. So moving on to our topic, I love you ladies going back and forth, back and forth. Let's re- I, I love these. So we're going to keep it to coach basics and coaches to success club. Okay. So I know Brooke and it looks like you're busy, but, um, kind of, to put that. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. You're good. Um, but we talked about coach basics. So do you kind of want to ask that question? Cause I know that was yours, correct? Uh, yeah, it was. Okay. So what's your, what's your question on that? Let's, let's start there. Yeah, just wanted to see what everyone is doing. Um, obviously not reinventing the wheel, but it's kind of nice to simplify things um, and see what you guys are doing for Coach Basics. Obviously, obviously, there's some great resources in the back office, but sometimes it can be kind of fluffy and on repeats. Like, I feel like the same thing is being said all the time where I just want to like really dial in um, and make it be really short and just kind of get people through the funnel a little bit faster. So I've been really honing in on that this past week and seeing what everyone else is being too. Cool. Okay. So what, who of you has a system that you feel like, okay, this is really easy. This is very to the point. Like kind of walk me through that. Anybody want to share? No, as well. I can share a little bit. Thank (laughs) you. Yeah, no. So I think I mentioned this in our last call, but I think it's working really well so far. My, I just did a thinkific um, and I'm also doing the message pods in addition, but literally they could finish the thinkific. I think there's four modules that I created. The first one is just like the social media basics coming, they're coming out. And the next one is your, I have them start with a clean week group because I think it's that fosters confidence and it's easier for someone to talk to a friend about doing a $29 little intro package to do a clean week group. So my new coaches now are start, literally, they're having like four or five people at least join them in a clean week group and then they, it's only seven days. And so it's kind of like a easy to swallow, uh, practice like session and they gain confidence. And a lot of those people then like Shakeology after the seven days and they want to continue on with them. So that's just one element. I think that's really working. I, I'm a big believer in it's not what you know, it's what you do and you learn by doing. So I don't, I, I don't want them to spend a lot of time in the think of it. I mean, fail forward, get out there, talk to people. We don't, we're not, what we do isn't rocket science. No one's dying on our table. If they say no, it's more about gaining, giving that confidence to just go out there and that's, and done. That's it. And that sums it up. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> no, that was good. Okay. I like it. I like it. Keep going. Tell us more about, oh, you're getting questions. You're not off the hot seat yet. <laughs> the, the think of topics. You said there were four. Yeah, there are four. Um, I will, after this call, I'll screenshot what they are and put them in the, um, our, our little page. You are. And they're not perfect by any means, but literally like right now I'm really digging into Don Miller, the story brand stuff. And so I'm going to film a quick video on that, um, about, Hey, don't be boring. <laughs> like, like three different things. And I will update the different modules and pull stuff out that I'm like, this is dated. Like, I don't know about you guys right now, but like Facebook and we can't, it's not Facebook's job to grow our business. Right. So we can't hate on the algorithm, but I am getting such better ROI on my newsletter, my email newsletter. And so 
I mean, just last night, I did, no, this morning, I did an email newsletter and for kind of like ultimate reset plug. And I have 12 emails sitting in my inbox, people saying like they want more information. That was, doesn't happen for me right now on Facebook. So then I could easily make a little quick little module poo and update my Thinkific and then post on the team page, hey, Biatches, check it out there. And then they get back over there and they, you know, Sorry, I've had way too much energy. I'm this loving morning. you this morning, actually. Like, I'm loving this. Okay. It's a little embarrassing. Okay, so that's, that's my... So think it's like, it's just like a free online course that you can easily create little modules, and then when they're done, they have little, little checkbox, and so it's kind of like... And then I can track their progress, so it's another way I can recognize people, that I can say, hey, uh, Christine, Joy, Z, 100% completed the course ladies got a little love coming in in the mail and they're like, what? I didn't know that was coming. And then everyone else is like, oh, I better finish. Boom. Okay. I didn't know yeah. what it was either. No, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. And then Christine, you said that you're obviously, so what I would say for you, go through it. If it is too much, simplify it because if it overwhelms you, can you imagine what it does to brand new peeps? It's a lot for sure. Okay. Who else wants to go? What else are you doing? That's, that's working. <laughs> yep so please. i posted my little thing that i'm starting in our thread with um rewarding yes. so the reason why um we decided to start that on my team it wasn't just me that started that there's several of us that decided to do that is because okay so we're i'm offering it to all of my ps coaches and here's my thought behind that is my older ps coaches are my volume drivers they're the ones that are honestly making me money. <laughs> I hate to put it that way, but that's the truth. So I want to reward them still. And I want them to still have fun in the business because um, it's still fun to get stuff in the mail. It's still fun to be rewarded for a good job and things like that. And of course, I still do recognition boards and all of that but it's still fun to get stuff and be rewarded and thanked for the job you do. Um, so that's my thought behind it. And it's also nice to include Beachbody apparel because it has volume attached to it. So ordering it through your plus two um, is always a good option. We'll say that. Um, so here's, here's what I'm doing. So first of all, my new coaches are so excited about that because they're like, oh my gosh, I can win this stuff. That's so cool, you know, because they don't have beach body clothes yet and they don't have that kind of stuff. So they're excited about it because they haven't won that stuff like we all have. Um, so they'll get their new beach body wear and share. And I feel like for new coaches, when you wear something, it's almost easier to break, to talk to somebody. If you have it on and somebody brings it up to you, then you having to be like, Hey, and so I'm doing this beach body thing. Um, so that's part of my marketing plan for my new coaches too. So what also I'm doing is I'm doing, I think I talked about this before. I don't know, but I have this new coach checklist that I'm modifying right now to make it look pretty. Cause it doesn't look pretty right now. And, um, so it'll be a checklist for them to complete during their first 30 days. And then I'll have a seven day training up on my website. So they'll complete their new, their checklist and then do their seven day training. And then they'll just send me a message or text me when they're done. Um, so it's super simple. And my goal always with my new coaches for the first 30 days is to help them get results. Like physical results. Um, because here's the thing that is what is going to make them a good coach in the long run. So that is why my focus is more on getting them the best results than anything else. So that's why I keep my training super basic with the checklist and the seven day training, because they will learn more in that challenge group than they will learn by me just spilling, um, videos, you know, out like every single day to them. And so here's my thing. If I can get them to sell one challenge pack that first month to a friend because they're having amazing results and it's showing to their friends, then that's perfect. That's all, that's all we need, right? That's all I need for them to do is just to 
um, you know, have results to show to their friends. And then we'll work on success club in month two. Um, and then that's when I will teach them more than just the seven or the seven days of training, but I'll have them in a new coach pod and I will help walk them through other things, you know, but if, unless they can complete that first seven days, then I'm not going to walk them through anything. Um, but that, that like kind of sets them apart from anybody else. So that's kind of what I do. I don't, honestly, I didn't have training when I signed up to coach. I had to look everything up on YouTube. So I didn't even know. I mean, that's how I started. I'm sure like a lot of you guys. So I kind of feel like seven days is plenty to start with. Um, so that, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, and it's, I mean, I'm not saying it's working amazing, but I'm having at least four co new coaches a month at success club. So, um, anyways, that's but, what I'm doing. But that is amazing. And the fact you're the queen of, um, creating the expectation. And that's what I've always loved that you do. Like you don't assume that they're going to do it. You like do stuff like this or ask them every single month, like who's hitting success club. Like you're just the queen of that. So I would just reiterate to all of you ladies, like stop assuming that they're going to do it. Like put fun things into place, ask them the questions like who's working this month. I really strongly, but I love that you put this together. That's amazing. Christy, I know you have some questions going on here. So, um, the first 30 days. So, um, I don't know if that's a question. Oh, do you guys talk about placement, volume, and rank in the coach basics? Yes, but here's my thing is I tell all of my brand new coaches, like if you have a new coach, I mean, I tell them to place, how to place their, uh, here's the thing. I'm placing everybody right now on my weak side. So it's so easy for me to say, if you decide to sign up your spouse, put them, you know, go ahead and put them on your right side. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's super easy to, for me to put in the training. And when I start signing people back up on my strong side, then I'll change that. But for now, it's super easy to just say that. <laughs> um, sure. And the next person would go on your left side. Um, so that's easy for me to say. Okay, cool. And then Christine is asking, would you mind sharing the checklist? Yeah, for sure. Like cool. Jen Richardson and I are making it look pretty right now. Because it looks kind of bad. <laughs> so once we, um, I'll, I'll send it to you now. But once we get it all polished and looking good, and we're editing a few things, um, then I'll send. I'll resend it again. Perfect. Just put it in our chat thread, and then when you get it all nice and pretty, then you can put it in the big group. But then at least they can see what you're talking about. Cool. Yeah, sure. If you share, I will buy you a T-shirt from. Oh, I gotta scroll over to this. Oh, okay. Well, and there you go. So she's buying you a t-shirt. Um, hey, <laughs> thank you, Christy. Is there anything else that you wanted to put on with that? Add to that? Okay. Who else wants to go? Kiana, you're like jumping to the bit. Go girl. Me? Yeah. I'm you're, you're like ready to press unmute. Oh, no, right? <laughs> I'm trying to, I was trying to scoot up. Like, okay, go. I have, a, I have a cold. I wasn't, believe me, I was not jumping at the bit because I don't have the answer to this question, but. Okay, go. Um. I do feel like I've created a lot of excitement on my team and I feel like excitement creates momentum and I feel like um, momentum is what new coaches need to feel like they're successful. And so for me, um, and I'm not gonna even take any credit for this because I've taken some ideas of Jay Lynn who's been extremely helpful um, with what her and Micah do on her team and then taking some stuff in the National Week Call. Obviously I just kind of flipped the script and kind of created it for my team. But, um, you know, Jalen is, uh, and I are in another mastermind. And one of the things, and um, some people are here, I think maybe. Um, one of the things that I realized was that I was not like just, I just expect new coaches just to do. And really, they're not that action oriented. So what I have completely flipped the script, and it's taking a heck of a long time to switch my mindset and how I talk to people, but it's working and I'm seeing action is that, um, I have to create like, um, something like a marketing calendar, like telling them exactly what to invite for when to invite. So our team wide has now, we all start a challenge group on the same day. We all start a free group on the same day. We all do a, this is ideas from Jalen again. So again, <laughs> um, a clean week on the same day, but what's happening is is I'm creating, like we create the content, like I'm getting really excited because I created just for example, yesterday I was like in deep 
like thought and like the teacher came out of me because I do well with creating. So I created a, a mindset seven day group and my whole team's inviting to it and they're super excited about it because they just get to invite to it and that's all they have to do. So I'm basically sharing, um, I'm basically opening, we're opening up everything to the team to be team wide. So we all start a challenge group on the same day. We have a place they can invite to or they can do their own, it's up to them. We have a clean week that we're all starting to do. They can invite to that or they do their own, all right? We have a free group, so there's absolutely no excuses because what I realized is coaches were too busy trying to create. They're trying to create content, they're wasting time. It was like, I don't know what to do my free group on, I don't know what's going on. So this is really helping a lot of coaches that are just brand new invite to the process, just getting practicing and inviting. So their goal is to go out there and get five to 10 people in the free group. Um, and then we take care of it. Like we explain in live videos, like what did you next, how you can join us in a, in a challenge group and kind of move forward. And so it's been really awesome to see coaches that have not done anything at all, actually start to invite, to start to dream a little bigger and like, to be like, wow, I wasn't inviting at all. So, and with that, we have done the, the coach pods. And I know that a lot of you do that, but we have a new coach pod that each tip of the day goes along with our marketing calendar. So like, it doesn't matter when you join it. It doesn't, it's like a momentum. Do you know what I mean? So like if you join it in the third week, the tip is, is relative to what's happening in the marketing calendar. So it doesn't, it's not like start and finish. It's like a revolving thing. It, it goes every 30 days. They can learn new stuff. It's super short and sweet and to the point. And it basically tells them like a kindergartner what to do. Like you need to invite to this. And this is an example of how you say it, you know, like this is what you have to you know, do basically that. And so the new coaches, I thought that that was like talking down to them before, but they're like, this has been so helpful. They're inviting more than I've ever seen. They're, they're talking to people. It's like, I realized that I was a teacher and I used to teach high school, but like I need to teach to kindergartners. <laughs> like I need to break it down and tell them exactly what I do and how I do it um, until they learn. And then 30 days, you can let them go. So we tell them that they get 30 days in the new coach pod um, and that they can soak it all up. But like your goal is to get out of this pod and get into the push to the Emerald pod. Um, and then their goal is to get out of the pod. Their goal is not to get comfortable in these pods, is to not sit here and make friends. It's to, this is a business minded, like get out of this. And we do like celebratory gifts when they move out and we get excited. Um, so that's what's working for me. I can't tell you, um, the success club numbers are like drastically increasing because we just started this in the last five weeks. But I will tell you that my team is stoked and excited. And they have all said they're so happy that we just took the, guesswork out of it and that they can just invite to what we have provided. Tiana, I love it. And I'm seeing a constant theme that coaches, and I, I love this, that are going back to the mothership, that you're going back to working together, the excitement, but also it sounds like they always have someone to invite to, so that it's no longer paralyzing them in the action of it. So thank you. Um, and I like that you said you're no longer expecting it. You're like literally just allowing them to see like, okay, this is how you're going to go about doing so. Um, but I love that. Good job. Okay. Who wants to add on to anything from there? Yeah, T, go. One thing that um, my team, I got this script from a one, somebody from, my, uh, from Daphne, and they are starting to do like a new coach launch event. Uh, I have never done that before. She shared the script and it seems pretty simple. So it's basically like you've seen, you bring on a new coach and you talk with them and you set up a date to do a launch party for them. Just like, you know, they do launch parties for everything else, lipstick, you know, all that stuff. Um, but you basically, the way it's laid out was you run it for your new coach. They, the new coach invites all of their people to it. So it's not, it's not for you to promote it, right? You're not there promoting and inviting it for your own people. You're letting your new coach do that. And then you do all the talking, you know, presenting what coaching is and the products and, you know, so it's like a, a home party essentially, but through an event. Um, she said they just started implementing it. And one of her coaches did that with their, her new coach. And they, that new coach is able to hit success club and sign up one coach from that event. So they had success with that. I haven't done it yet. Like I said, I just got that from them. I do plan to try to implement that with, um, uh, with the new coach. Um, it sound really cool, you know, like what that, that they had ex uh, experience. I've never done that before. So I can't say, you know, if it would work for, for me, but it seems really cool. The idea sounded cool. 
Yeah, for sure. It's one of those, like, let me borrow or let me give you my confidence since, and, and to allow you to grow your own. But I think, I mean, try it, see what it works for you. And same thing with you, Kiana, you said, you don't know. I mean, the last five weeks it's been, you know, kind of coming together give it a good 90 to maybe even six months and see how it's working because I, it, it's going to take time for the momentum to start. But I would say don't kill the process before you're starting to, you know, until you get to that sweet spot well over 90 days um, because it sounds like once it comes together, it's going to come together for sure. But T, try that and then let us know how it does go for sure, please. Cool. Let's shift this now, coaches to SC. So let me ask Christy at Lions this actually, since you had said so you had four coaches hit Success Club last month. What are you doing to really in, inspire that to create that momentum with it? Um, well, one thing is, and I think I told you this, I have Shaker of the Month Club, and so all my coaches are excited about that. Um, also, I am working alongside them. So Here's the thing. One thing I learned this week in another mastermind call is that I think we get it in our heads that we have these high expectations that people should just get it. And I think that the thing is, is maybe because we were independent and we just got it, the other 95% of the people don't just get it. That's why we're up like, I don't know, whatever percent. Um, but the other people, they don't just get it. And so they need to be treated like kindergartners, like Kiana said. So I've learned that what I do now with my challenge groups with them is I don't actually, this is what I'm doing new is I try to run a side by side free challenge group with them. So I'll run a challenge group and I'll put all of my new coaches in the other challenge group. And I will assign whoever I think has the best leadership skills and I will have them kind of delegate out the assignments. And so they can copy and paste what I'm doing um, and then run their challenge group side by side with mine. And I expect all of my coaches to follow up with every single person they invited in that challenge group. And this is starting their new funnel system. Um, so I'm having them do that and I am, I'm having them screenshot their invitations and kind of where they're getting hung up on objections so that I can help them kind of go, kind of get over the objections. So, and I'm doing that in my pod so that people can see like where, like, so we're all learning together. We're role playing like these scripts together so everybody can learn together and that seems to be working. And then when somebody hits success club, they're like talking about it in the group. I've had one of my PS new PS coaches hit success club 20. And so she's setting the bar so high that everybody else is like, Oh my gosh, well, I better send out more invites, you know? And, um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just having them kind of like ring the bell or talk about hitting when they sell something. So it's not just me saying like, yay, I sold something because they don't care anymore about if I sell something because <laughs> you know to me they they don't look at me as like somebody on their level if that makes sense for sure thank you so much any questions for Christy on that that's good it's real good oh um T had a question what is shaker club of the month looks like she's writing back to you oh okay. yeah, you're good. so what I do is I can post a picture but each month um I have these shaker cups made in different colors. So January was like this black shaker cup with gold writing that said Shakeology. And the person who made them got it approved by Beachbody. And then this month they're pink because, or February, I'm sorry, was pink because Valentine's Day. And so their goal is to earn all 12 shaker cups throughout the month for hitting success club. And my coaches are really competitive. So they're like, all trying to get it my ps coaches i should say cool thank you and i'm assuming you meant throughout the year which I'm, i i know that's what you meant yeah you're good you're good no that's cool though really cool and it's also teaching consistency which i think is very key for it cool z what about you you and your cat that cat dude <laughs> what, what about you don't get me started if i kick him out he'll just scratch and, and claw so i know um what do I do for SC? We, I, I'm, I'm like out of it today. I don't know why. 
you know what? A lot of the things that I heard, um, like, you know, we have obviously like trainings and we do, I do, I'm really big on word tracks, like send this message out. But one thing I'll share that's like totally, I think a little, it's a little bit different that we started about five months ago, I want to say. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I do feel it, it actually pushed two of my coaches over in the last minute was we, we have a don't throw the towel in power hour. And it's at, it's at the very end of the day on the last day of the month. And my East coast girls are on the power hour until midnight. It's a two hour power hour. Um, and I'm on the West coast. So it starts at seven and we are on there two hours before the month closes, um, sending messages out. And it just forces us to work like until the final minute. Cause what I noticed was it was like people would throw the towel in that morning or like halfway through the day. Um, and so we started doing that. And like I said, it, it's a little painful cause you're working really late. But what I've noticed is like the people who hop on, we have been able to get like, like two of my own PS coaches were pushed over the edge. But then like one of them ended up hitting, um, she went from, I think four to eight SC in the final two hours, but she's already at eight SC for this month now, just because like we worked until the final minute. So it's kind of, it's fun. It's annoying at the same time. It's, it's, you know, like super late at night, but we, we've done it for a few months now and, and it's always on the very last day of the month with the exception of New Year's Eve. As I say, New Year's Halloween besides this um we did we the very first one we ever did actually was halloween but we did it on the 30th instead of the 31st cool yeah, yeah. Just this number all together but if you didn't hear that then her coach now is at sca for the month so i want to ask that question kind of going into this next what is your expectation for your coaches to hit sc like when do they have to hit sc by have you created an expectation on that we have a saying um and that hit always hit the current month by the 15th and then get your pipeline set. So, so hit by the 15th is like what we try to do like by halfway through the month. And then the second half of the month hit the next 15 for the, for the next month. Although you still trickle into the current one, but it's just like hit your goal by the 15th. And then the second half of the month, you're hitting your goal for the next month. We don't sandbag. It's not really like that. It's more of like a mental thing. For sure. um, just hit by the 15th, spend the second half of the month building up for the next month. Awesome. Okay. I love that. I want to hear what else you ladies are doing. What expectation are you setting for it? And I think if it's crickets, that means you need to set that expectation because if we're having a hard time hit, having coaches hit SC, then there needs to be that strong expectation of like, well, when is, I mean, I've always loved to hear, you know, five by the fifth and 10th by the 10th or 15 by the 15th and 20 by the 20th or whatever you are doing. But if you're not setting the expectation of what it is, this is the problem is a, they're going to burn out because they're always working so, so hard. And I love you, what you were saying Z about your, you know, working really, really hard and it will set it up for the following month. But if they get in that consistent mode of like, breeze through the month and then work really hard the last two, three days, guess what? Burnout every single time. So you guys have to be implementing something. Talk to me, please. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Angie, go. Um, so I'm kind of a black sheep cause I don't focus totally on success. Um, I hope I don't get fired for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> You're but, good. Guys. Um, we just don't, we focus on volume. Um, I, I do tell my new coaches coming in that that is how I built my business the past five and a half years. Every month I focused on enrolling two, two new coaches and hitting success club five. So I do tell them like, this is how I built my business, you know, and how I went elite two times and how I did all of these like things in the past five years. Oh, we've got a screaming toddler. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but we really like the, the vibe and the culture of our team is I'm trying to avoid that burnout. Um, I've had diamond coaches quit from overwhelm, like just get, just like making tons of money and just up and leave because they could never, it was always push, go, go all the time, go. And they could never quite figure that out, which I take part responsibility for that. And so I'm teaching them and I'm, you know, one of the best things, Charlotte, Sorry. One of the best things that I did for myself and for my team and my leaders to kind of prevent that was setting up um, a team website and it's self-paced, self-paced training. I was personally was getting burned out going in and doing a new coach basics Facebook group. 
every single month and hand holding and babysitting and checking in and did you do your new lesson today? And did you like I that made it to where I was spending 90% of my of my time hand holding and then I had 10% to keep recruiting. And when we all know like you it can't be that way, you have to keep building your own business while helping still helping your um, coaches but for a long time I didn't quite have that balance and so then that was the problem with my leaders and so we actually set up a team website so there's like 25 lessons and so they can essentially do one a day and it takes them like 10 minutes to get through it and <clears throat> I don't do getting started right calls I don't do any of that until they've at least helped one person they have to prove to me that they and I have them right off the bat do their new coach announcement before anything else. Because if I'm like, oh, you got to do all your, your lessons and then you'll, they drag their feet. They have to just dive in and do it. And once they do their coach announcement and they've helped one person, I just focus on having them help one person that month. And it doesn't matter if it's just a um, BOD membership, like just something, because that's going to give them that confidence to then keep going. And then those that can kind of match my energy, my pace, then we focus on enrolling coaches and hitting success club and what that means for them. I just take it on an individual basis and what their goals are. And if I know if it's someone that gets burned out, like I had girls who were like wanted to do team cup and I was like, I know you and I know that you get overwhelmed with that sort of pressure on yourself. I wouldn't do it. Like, so I just kind of have to know where my coaches are and help them find goals that benefit them and help them have joy in this business because if you lose joy you're not effective at all so we do focus on volume a lot and I are my like expectation is have one person a week have one person a week you know and preferably you know obviously challenge pack is the best way to get somebody in because it's giving them all the tools but some people just aren't ready for that so you have to meet people where they're at and I'm training them because that's what I do I have new people come in and they're not ready for a challenge pack but I still want to help them so no matter what, they have to have a BOD membership to come into my group. And so that's how I'm training my team. And it's been awesome because then they have that confidence of like, I helped four people this month, but I didn't hit success club, but I generated volume and I still made money and I made an impact. So that's kind of just what's working for us. Oh, and then I was going to say too, I do mini event trainings. I'd run them twice a month um, within my team page. He's a hot mess today. <laughs> Um, and so I just set up an event and it just goes Monday through like Thursday. I have it run through Friday, but I feel like people just mentally check out on Friday, including myself. Um, and so like this week I'm running one and it's on volume. And so I just keep it simple. And that's where I put like the extra trainings and that's where I'll, I'll do one on like what success club is and how, and so we just focus on little chunks of trainings instead of putting it all out there at the beginning. So, and then I just kind of rotate them. I think that you you know, sure. and, and so it just helps so that co coaches and even veteran coaches are getting refreshers on this information. And so it's not just like being thrown at them all the time. And they have to know all the things all at once, but we're recycling and going through these little clips of specialized trainings. Perfect. You rock. Good luck with um, little Charlotte. She's a mess. <laughs> So, but I love that. I, but it, so she said it really great. I mean, the expectation of helping one person per week, like literally have an expectation. And I know this is so hard because you come in here and you're like, okay, but I don't want, I want them to be able to figure this out. And I promise you, it's like, if you ever, if you watch these training, like you need to give them that heightened awareness, that heightened, heightened um, love and attention, or they're going to just kind of flounder and then eventually quit. Like you have to give them that direction. And so I would really say like start implementing it where you are having the conversations like what you're what you're working towards right now is your goal for March and I love that and then the next um, you know mid March you're working towards your April goals and guess what you end up hitting SC20 you're not gonna complain you're you know what I mean like it, you're not gonna complain when you're continuing to help people creating volume like those things so I really say like what is your expectation and I bet if I asked every single one of you or the majority of you like why do you hit success club and I will tell you the answer is because your upline instilled the belief and the expectation in you, right? So do the same thing, or do you, they didn't, and so you want to do something different. Marion's like shaking her head, like, no, no, no. But literally, like, think about that. And I always ask that question to my coaches. They're like, oh, yeah, I do this, and it's just like, that's just what I do. And I was like, okay, well, why do you do it? Well, my coach told me that's what I needed to do to run my business. Okay, well, what do you tell your coaches um, about that? 
Okay. So just get very, very clear in your messaging and the expectations set on what they are doing each month. Rhonda, I'm so glad that you finally have a bra. Do you want to talk? You look great. Like that. Oh my God. I like sometimes get ready and I was, I'm running a new coach basics. Um, it just started. I think I was, I, when I first got on the call, I told you guys, and I, I don't know, I had so many coaches and, and it brand new coaches last month. I had over four hit success club four. I had a brand new one hit success club 10. I had a couple others hit success club five and I'll be a hundred percent honest. I've been taught that when you sign as a coach, the second you sign, you set those expectations. And so I literally set them on day one. I say the first two weeks of your business, you will have your products paid for within 30 days, you will rank advance. And so what I do is I help them through this process. I have a brand new coach call where I do it with them and I walk them through how to make these things happen. Um, and then what we do is we do live power hours together where they can jump on. And what I'm doing is a team call every other week and a live power hour every other week and just getting them jump on, ask me a ton of questions. Um, they're following up, getting people to talk to them right then and there on the live power hours, but just, um, setting in their head. I know for me, it was set in my head right away. I'm like, Oh, I can get my products paid for. That's super easy. Okay. And rank advance. Okay. So I'm going to sign my husband, another person. Okay, cool. I can do that. And all of a sudden it becomes, it's easy. It's not hard. And so it allows them to immediately have that mindset. And that's kind of some of the things I've done. Nothing super fancy, but just, um, the other thing is I do a poll in my new coach training and this has kind of nothing to do with that, but I need to know what motivates them. I need to know what actually makes them tick. And I know like a lot of you guys have had your coaches read the love languages book, but one of my very first things to just dive in is I do a poll and I say, are you motivated by money or are you motivated by, you know, um, acknowledgement or however you want to word that. Right. And then I say, or both. So I immediately know like who is motivated by what, because they're all amazing. They're all great. I see great things in all of them, but what motivates them is going to work different for each brand new coach. And so in knowing that it's been really helpful to help those that are like, um, I need my products paid for yesterday versus the person that's like, well, that'd be really cool. I'd like to do that. It's, it completely separates them. Not that you're going to treat them any differently, but you kind of are. So I will do, um, one-on-one -on -one calls with those ones. Obviously you guys probably do this too, where that are just like, I want it paid for now. And I tell them exactly how to do it on the phone. I'm like, all right, here's what I want you to do. Here's the steps I want you to do. And then I want you to send me your bat and I want to see what it looks like. And I want to see it like, you know, all of that. And so just kind of those people that really get it kind of grabbing a hold of them tighter. And I know that's probably common sense to a lot of us, but um, knowing their love language and kind of knowing what motivates them has been huge. And then just setting the expectations really high. So yeah. Love that. So Teresa did ask you, do your live powers, do you have a system that you follow with that? I do. I do. I literally have nine things on my power hour and I can copy and paste it. It's not a document, but I have a document. It's a file under my coach group. And I literally, Daniel and Tony created it and I just use it every single time. And then it's literally, it is scripts. So it tells them exactly what to say when they reach out to somebody, obviously you need to change it according to seasons, but it just allows you to be able to take that live power hour, put it step by step in your team page and then do it live with you. And it's super easy. It's all the things we do, but it just gives them, and I'm like, copy and paste this, make it your own, like go and send that to 10 people right now. You have five minutes to do this. You have 10 minutes to do this. And then they just jump on. And then I make them also share like their posts on social media. I'm like, all right, what, I think it's like assignment number four. They have to share. They have to graph something that has to do with Beachbody and they do it on the call with me. And then they screenshot it and put it in the comment area. And then I say, you know, this is great. Make this small little change. And so we do it together and they just, it's funny. The husbands will be like, thank you so much. My wife did the business in one hour when it normally takes like five hours. And so the husbands are like laughing. They're like, that was cool. So yeah. And I can totally, um, I can grab my power hour and just, you know, post it in the group thread. It's really long, but it's nine homework assignments in one hour. And it usually takes an hour and like 15 minutes at most. And usually it's because I'm answering their questions. You know, it would, it would really take 40 minutes if it was just me doing it or quicker. Well, you actually post it in our group, the five yes. days for diamond. So then that way they'll be able to grab it. Yes. Group message awesome. thread, right? 
No, um, all in our group, in our actual um, five to eight star diamond group. Have you, okay. do you know that one? It's perfect. Do you know the name perfect. of that? I it's Brit's five to eight hustle group. Okay. Brit, it has your name first. Okay, yep. cool. Okay, yeah, cool. Totally. I can do that today for you guys. Yeah. So, I mean, it's nothing. And you know, like I said, some months I'll have coaches on fire this last month. Um, I also, I've shared before on a call with Brittany, um, I just am running my business differently. They're my friends there. I spend more time with them and we are just having a really good time being friends together versus just being business builders. And that's been huge for me. And it's something sounds really crazy, but something new for me. I, you know, I've always been just business, business, business. And now it's like, let's have fun and, and create this amazing business. So yeah. It's love and accountability. It goes yeah. hand in hand with the power of positive leadership. And I will tell you when you, when you put both of those together, you'll enjoy it more. So I love that. Yeah. Yay. Okay. That was cool. Well, let's kind of wrap this call up. Kiana, you're making me hungry. I see you're like full fridge. Now I see your full food. Um, I'm a little jelly. Okay. So let's wrap this up. I appreciate each of you for contributing. I would love for you to share anything that you can within the message thread. If it's too much to go back and see, put it in our actual group. Like just continue to add that as a resource, you know, if you ever want to add anything, because also have you seen the amazing content that has been added to the group? So I would say, you know, like check that stuff out. It's really, really, really sound great stuff. I just want to reiterate our next call is next Tuesday on the 13th. This one is at 9 a.m. Pacific Center Time. That's 10 a.m. Mountain. 11 a.m. Central, and that is with Jeff Hill. So come prepared to ha have him be able to see your beautiful faces, even if you don't have makeup on. I don't care. Just make sure you're there present with your um, videos on. And then um, I will get more details on that. So, But just remember that the time shifts just a little bit. It's 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay, next Tuesday. Um, thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you. Have an amazing Tuesday, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye, ladies. <laughs>